Okay, this is it. <clears throat> Mr. MBB333 put out a video, and right at first it says Happy Resurrection Day, and he says he is risen in big bold letters, and Mr. MBB3 says with his mouth, Happy Resurrection Day, everybody. BBC News, last video I clicked on, has dragons in every single frame, and it says, it's the title of the video is, Why is the sun going to sleep? And on the cover photo it shows a big snake eye. The people that are going are the people that the general population has been programmed against. They're the Antichrist, they're the bad guy, they're the devil. Going with the general mainstream population is not going to get you through this. That's what this was all about. A self-selection process. Of your own volition, choose to be your own authority. Choose to think for yourself. And I've told you A plus B equals C. A plus B plus C equals D. Money, money! Jesus was a serpent then, since him and Satan were brothers, and Satan was a serpent in the garden? Uh, uh, Biobot does not compute. In the song that I just referenced today, American Pie, says you believe all those good things in the book if the people at church tell you to or something like that. That's what's going on here, people. And you're one of us. The body of Christ is real. Some people are already in the body of Christ, okay? But all those people that have been mumbo jumbo and you're, oh, we're in the body of Christ. No. The people that have been saying it are not in the body of Christ. The people who are in the body of Christ haven't been saying anything. And that's why Mr. MBB 333's throwing up those images for you. Along with BBC News. What, do you think you're so much better than him and BBC News and everyone else? You're the one that got conned, and me. Everything I've learned in the last week, I've revealed to you every day what I've learned. If it's more than you can handle, the mob that's gonna be there is way worse than anything that could possibly be up there, okay? We're getting out, we're getting free, and it's only of a, a choosing that anyone is able to. So, right now, MBB333, putting it out. Pretty soon, everyone's gonna see it in the clouds, but you'll still have a day or two head start, because they still won't see it in the grass, and the mountains, and the rocks, and the asphalt, and the dirt. And, but during that interim period, you don't wanna be around, okay? I'm gonna send you photos. I know exactly where I'm going. It's down in, there's a little small pond right there. You pull your truck down in, and there's about 14 different slots where you back your truck up. You go in, and the stone pillars go up to the roof about 25 feet tall, because a, a truck's 13'6". The roofs in there are tall. The pillars are big, and the and there's plenty of space and plenty of food storage. When they empty out the Walmarts, guess where it's going? That's right. You want to be there? Come now. There is no more time. You will not be given another chance. You know what the word petrified means? Scared to death? You've heard both those phrases. You know what they mean? Just like in Joni Mitchell's song, Don't Interrupt the Sorrow, she explains what petrified means. It's when you get scared and look back, like Lot's wife, you're done. Sorry. You need to be able to fall in love and open yourself up. And we went wrong, okay? We need to learn. That's what the bottom line is. We went wrong somewhere along the way. We need to admit we went astray and we lost our way and we need guidance to get back on track. And if you ask that, they'll be gentle in acquainting you with the truth. But it is you who were in the truth, or were in the delusion. It is they who are setting you free. A lie has been built around you so intricately weaved for so long that everything you think you know is opposite of what it is. And they're gonna trigger all those biobot transceivers with Pavlovian conditioning, operant conditioning, ring the bell, the dog salivates because you've connected it so many times in their head and their subconscious mind. As soon as you say, they live, get them! You watch. If you're in the body of Christ, you better get here now. I've told you why. It's at the Kansas City, Kansas, Kansas City, Missouri border. You'll see a great big water tower and it's flat plains out here. Okay? I'm getting out there. I'm already almost all the way through Wyoming. You should have left yesterday. If you haven't, you still got time. Okay? I'm gonna send you photos as soon as I get there and if you're still there, you're gonna wish you were here. Not only because this is an awesome facility, this is where we're meant to be. I told you the way I know. 
as I've been there delivering food before. It's very near the Mormon Temple, the Kansas City, Kansas, Kansas City, Missouri borderline. There's a lot of them along there, but I've been to a couple of them. You don't pull in like a normal truck delivery. You go down the road, check in at an office, and when you come here, there's spikes, tire popping spikes. Only place I've ever been delivering refrigerated food where there are tire popping spikes that pop up. You gotta go check in down the road before you get in. And down the road at the office, they got a security guard and they run a background check first. Get it? You want in? Last chance. Please come. This is real. I'm going to send you photos. I'm going to be there in less than 24 hours, and you better be halfway here by then. No last chances, okay? There is no last minute. Oh, okay, I'll come. There is no last minute stuff. you got to come now. you got to show some faith and humble yourself. Get on your knees and ask Jesus Christ to show you the way. And I'll be there when you get there, and I'm sending photos, and you're going to wish you'd come if you don't. Those photos are going to kill you, okay? You're going to see what the weather's turning like in your neck of the woods. When I'm down here at the facility where we're meant to be, hope to see you there. Please, come. That's the secret. Mommy, mommy, Jesus is a serpent, right? Because Satan's a serpent in the garden and they're brothers. Uh, uh. And they're both God's children, right? And we're God's children too, right? That's what the imagery in the tool video, where one of them pulls a little cube out of the other's ear from right here and they pull it out. That's what Credo Mutua meant, David Icke's reference source. When he said they gave us their mind, and they played it up like it was a real bad thing. That way it's your choice. You gotta choose to love and forgive and forget all that shit you've been programmed with and be open to this new reality because this is the freedom. Or get petrified and scared to death. But if you get heading right now, I promise you, you'll, be re you'll receive reassurances, okay? You'll receive the comforting of the Spirit of the Lord. How the hell do you think I'm able to go through all this? I haven't learned anything I've learned in the last week or two or month. You've seen how fast it's been. I didn't know any of this before. But it's time to get used to it. And God needs us to do some work, okay? It's not like getting there and poof, we're gone. But you do need to bring the iodine. Every time on Star Trek, they said, beat me up, Scotty, before they take some drops of iodine because that plasma, that tractor beam is made out of plasma, okay? And so are these beings. And so is everything else I've been showing you. Stuff I've been realizing, seeing, is not me. It's God speaking through me. I didn't find that portal. I didn't figure out how to unlock it three layers down and show you the flower of life cube of Metatron. The levels of wisdom and understanding and comprehension that I've been able to relate to you, I haven't even been watching my videos before or after I upload them. I record them, I hit upload. As soon as the next one's done, I don't have time to watch what I've said, what he said through me. And the other day when I was about to rewatch one of my videos, I even referenced it like that. I was like, oh yeah, I wonder what he said about this. And I. Instead of saying, I wonder what I said about this, I was about to rewatch my own video and say, I wonder what he said about this. Because that's the appropriate way to reference this and to the, the appropriate perspective to think of this. Because that's what's happening. God's here, he's coming to save us. They're gonna convince you that he's come to kill us and he's the devil and I yada yada yada. And if it doesn't terrify you enough that God has to lay waste to you, if you're still strong enough, to make your way this way, the mob will tell you will tear you apart. Because they'll say, oh, you're gonna go work with the devil, huh? I got one right here, it's a witch! Join us, witches. Fuck that shit you heard. It's time to wake up. You wanna get out of here? Follow me. I'm gonna send you photos. <laughs>